I spent way too much time and money trying to find the perfect spoon for my little one, but it has given me the opportunity to save you from the same fate. I'm going to get into what I like and dislike about these six different types of spoons. I'm going to go in order from the one I liked the least to the one I liked the best. Also, a quick note about forks. Let's go. This is my least favorite spoon. I sadly have nothing good to say about it. I purchased it because I thought that the wider base would be easier for her to hold as she's just learning this new skill of using a spoon. I think it actually had the opposite effect because it, it's very wide. So she can't hold it like this. So you're kind of holding it here, right? This is where she's going to end up holding it. How is she going to use a spoon, right? Same thing here. So you have to hold it a very specific way. So I think it really defeats the purpose of what you're trying to do when they're learning to use a spoon. Also, because the actual spoon part is really wide and is shallow, the wide part makes it hard for her to actually fit into her mouth. And then the shallow part makes it hard for her to scoop anything. So this really served no purpose for me other than it became a teether. So there you have it. Controversial take here. I hated these little training spoons. I know a lot of people really love them. The point of them is that it's not actually a spoon. It really, it's supposed to be easy that they can just kind of dip and then put it into their mouth. So it's just takes away the scooping step of the spoon to help train them. I found it to be more difficult for her. Number one, not all food works with the dipping motion. Also, let's say there is, let's say yogurt that's in there. It's actually really hard for her to get that yogurt off of the spoon and they're a pain to clean. So I did not like the spoon even a little bit. Did not really like this spoon. Uh, I purchased this because it had like a wider handle here. So I thought it would be easier for her to hold, which was true. That did happen. And it has a nice deep uh, spoon part. So it kind of makes it easy for the scooping piece, but it's actually really big and she could not get the whole thing into her mouth. And because this is so deep, she also couldn't get the food off. So I did not like these spoons. So now, you know, some spoons that you can avoid and you're thinking, wow, this has been so useful. Tara just saved me some time. She saved me some money. I better hit the like button. And I fully agree. You should hit the like button right now before I get into the three spoons that I do recommend. So I actually didn't do any research on this spoon. I bought it once when I was out and we really needed a spoon and this was all that was available. It came in a pack of like 10, it's, they're super cheap, uh, but it actually ends up being a spoon that we, we use often. The reason that we like it is because it has a nice small piece up here so she can actually fit the whole thing in her mouth. And it's nice that the handle is long so that when she is using the spoon, she um, won't get food like on the side of her hand from, from scooping. So we like this one. I don't use it all the time because it is plastic. And so I, again, I try to avoid the plastic piece, but I end up including this in her lunch bag if we need to send a spoon for daycare. Here is my second favorite spoon. What I love about this spoon is it has a, a nice thick base and it's grippy. So it's really easy for her to hold. And this sort of acts like a spatula. See how like thin it is here. So it's really easy for her to work on that scooping mechanism. And it's super soft. So I don't have to worry about her like hitting her mouth or hitting her teeth. It's super soft. Um, and I love that. I didn't love the color when I was purchasing it, but now they have a whole bunch of colors. So I highly recommend this spoon for your little one. Another benefit is that it actually stands up because it has a nice wide base there. So if you need to put it aside and you don't want the top to touch the table, you can do that. And here is my very favorite spoon. What I love about it is that it has a nice thick piece right here that makes it really easy for her to hold. And this again is silicone. So it's easy for her to kind of get that scooping motion here. And it's small enough for her to put into her mouth. I will say the downfall of this one is that because this handle is so short, sometimes when she's trying to get something, she gets like yogurt or whatever it is on the side of her hand. Uh, but I think it's done a great job at helping her learn how to use a spoon. Now that she's a little over two, it is getting a little bit small for her. I think we might have to just stick to one of the bigger spoons from now on. A nifty little feature that it has is that it has these two little dots. So when you put it down on the table, it's less likely to roll away because it has a little stability there. A quick note about forks. Whatever fork you get, I highly recommend to just go ahead and get the one with the metal. I know you're worried about it hurting your little one, uh, but 
the plastic ones just don't do what the forks are supposed to do. And if your kid is trying to learn to pierce a piece of food, it's just really hard when you have this plastic piece. So make it a little bit easier, use the metal. It, a lot of the kids' forks you'll notice are really blunt at the end. So you don't have to worry as much about them hurting themselves with them. Hopefully I've saved you a little bit of time and a little bit of money. Hit subscribe so that you can stay tuned for more videos to help you out in this whole parenting thing.